want to thank everybody for their help. We're in Carson. They've been nine months in the war. It's freezing cold. There's no electricity. There's no running water. There's hardly any food. And the people need our help. And thank you for giving that help. Thank you. This is the best kitchen I've ever come across. Cooking in the open air, cooking on wood, and, and, and making the most delicious kitchen ever. This people are going to go crazy for. We're in Carson, and they're cooking actually in a swimming pool. And just across the road, the, there was two nights ago, the whole building was set alight by a rocket. And, uh, but this is the safest place outside in case the building collapsed and uh, we have a good sized wall to stop the shrapnel coming in. So this is a brilliant kitchen. Cook out, it's fueled by wood, never run out of wood. And this is gonna feed 5,000 refugees every day. And this is one of our projects here that's really, really worth getting involved with. So we traveled to um, places that needed help. Otherwise, there's no point in us coming. We're not coming just to look at the place, but we come to render some service. So we managed to uh, buy three vans for three different centres. Uh, we managed to supply generators and ovens and food and spices to to quite a few places. So um, so we're going to. It's going to be ongoing. We'll continue to support these projects doing essential services, feeding all these people and, um, and it was quite an eye-opener to see so many wonderful people who are really making a sacrifice for, for the benefit of others.